August 20th. The reading is entitled, The Medical Ministry. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Acts 10.38 Our work is clearly defined. As the Father sent his only begotten Son into the world, even so Christ sends us, his disciples, as his medical missionary workers. In fulfilling this high and holy mission, we are to do the will of God. No one man's mind or judgment is to be our criterion of what constitutes genuine medical missionary work. True medical missionary work is of heavenly origin. It was not originated by any person who lives, but in connection with this work, we see so much which dishonors God that I am instructed to say the medical missionary work is of divine origin and has a most glorious mission to fulfill. In all its bearings, it is to be in conformity with Christ's work. Those who are workers together with God will just as surely represent the character of Christ as Christ represented the character of his Father while in this world. I am instructed to say that God will have the medical missionary work cleansed from the tarnish of earthliness and elevated to stand in its true position before the world when schemes that imperil souls are brought into connection with this work, its influence is destroyed. This is why there have arisen in the carrying forward of the medical missionary work many perplexities that demand our careful consideration. Nothing will help us more at this stage of our work than to understand and to fulfill the mission of the greatest medical missionary that ever trod the earth. Nothing will help us more than to realize how sacred is this kind of work and how perfectly it corresponds with the life work of the great missionary. The object of our mission is the same as the object of Christ's mission. Why did God send his Son to the fallen world? To make known and to demonstrate to mankind his love for them. Christ came as a Redeemer. Throughout all his ministry, he was to keep prominent his mission to save sinners. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.